Have you ever wondered why garlic is often ineffective or on the contrary, you sometimes feel sick from it? In what cases it can be harmful to your health? Let's take a look at 10 mistakes of using garlic that many people make all the time. If you want to be healthy, put a like and we'll get started. Mistake number one. Using garlic when you have an irritable or sore gut. If you continue to eat junk food, fast food, and toxic processed foods, no amount of garlic will stop you from getting bacterial infections. That's because these foods tend to increase oxidative damage in the body, which leads to a weakened immune system. A weak immune system makes your body more vulnerable to pathogens like bacteria and viruses. Your gut is your first line of defense against these attacks, so you need to make sure that you keep it healthy. This can be achieved by providing your body with the good bacteria it needs. Good bacteria are abundant in fermented foods such as Greek yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, and others. You may also want to consider taking probiotics. Eliminate all foods that disrupt your natural gut flora, and only then will you allow garlic to work its magic. Mistake number two, taking garlic on an empty stomach. Several studies show that garlic helps reduce inflammation and contains antioxidants, which is good for people suffering from certain intestinal worms and colon infections. When you swallow a clove of garlic, it remains dense until it reaches the intestines, where an alkaline environment breaks down the garlic and releases allicin, which is its active ingredient. This is when garlic's true power begins to manifest. It starts to show up as a bactericide, virus killer, fungicide, and worm killer. This is especially important for people who suffer from stomach aches or acidity. Garlic does not harm your stomach, so it is best to take it on an empty stomach. Mistake number three. Do you use pre-chopped garlic? When we crush garlic, the first thing we notice is a strong garlic odor. This is a sign that the allicin is breaking down, making it much less useful. It also releases a lot of organic sulfur compounds and antioxidants that would be good for the heart. Once cut, garlic loses its smell and flavor quickly, so it is best to use whole cloves, and it is better to use fresh than dried. Before using garlic, make sure the bulbs are firm and, most importantly, do not have a dried or stringy appearance. Garlic should be stored in a cool, dark, dry, and well-ventilated place. However, those people who want to consume garlic with a focus on the health benefits can consume fresh garlic in chopped or crushed form. This gives more chance for the sulfur compounds and antioxidants to be absorbed than eating a whole clove. These compounds promote blood flow in both the heart and arteries, helping to lower bad cholesterol. Mistake number four. You don't cook garlic in dishes correctly, so it's useless. If you want to spice up your dishes, then by all means add garlic to them. But if you want the full health benefits of garlic, don't cook it because the active ingredient in garlic called allicin is destroyed by cooking. This chemical is beneficial as long as the garlic is raw. Therefore, it is recommended that you cook your food first before adding garlic to it. To preserve allicin, you can add crushed garlic to food in the last 5 to 10 minutes of cooking. Mistake number five. Do you like garlic tea? Garlic tea is prepared by putting garlic in boiling water and leaving it for some time. The garlic is then strained. But as you already know, allicin is greatly destroyed by heat. Therefore, garlic tea probably won't be as beneficial to your health as other more concentrated forms of garlic. Furthermore, there is no substantial evidence that garlic tea specifically can help prevent or treat any disease. There are many websites claiming that garlic tea is healthy. In addition, no studies have examined whether adding honey and lemon to garlic drinks can be beneficial to health. Most claims about the health benefits of garlic drinks are likely untrue or overly exaggerated. Mistake number six, taking garlic in the form of supplements. People often take garlic supplements instead of eating fresh garlic, and by doing so, they destroy much of its health benefits. To maximize the benefits of garlic's healing properties, you should eat it raw and lightly minced. Garlic has healing properties that no pill, powder, or capsule can match. 
This is most likely due to the fact that the phosphorus gas that gives garlic its odor disappears when garlic is dried, processed, or heated. As a consequence, the health benefits associated with it also disappear if you have a hard time chewing raw garlic. Mistake number seven. Do you eat garlic during pregnancy? Garlic is probably safe for pregnant women. The amount that is safe for pregnant women is the amount found in food. This is not a very precise measurement, which means that pregnant women should consume garlic with caution. Just be careful not to go overboard with eating raw garlic or garlic flavored foods. It can be harmful. Garlic tends to make your body hot, which can cause you to lose your baby through miscarriage. This is because garlic cloves are too strong to eat, especially during pregnancy. This also means that you should not take garlic supplements during pregnancy because of their strength. Mistake number eight. Are you consuming too much garlic? Consuming too much garlic lowers blood pressure for an hour or two and can cause irritation in the stomach due to the sulfur in it, which causes blood to rush to the stomach and the rest of the body. Moderate consumption of garlic does not usually lower blood pressure to the point where it becomes a problem. Experts also believe that eating too much garlic won't help you deal with gastric bacteria or gut bacteria, which normally live in a person's stomach and can cause various gastrointestinal diseases. If you have stomach or intestinal problems, you should see your doctor. And certainly, lots of garlic won't help with fungus on your skin if you have that problem. Mistake number nine. Garlic only shows its effects with some foods, not with all foods. Garlic is mostly used in some foods in cooking like fish soups, shellfish and seafood dishes like mussels, marinara, etc. But doing the same may not be necessary when cooking dishes such as mushrooms or kidney beans in stews and in sauces for pasta or rice. If you can pass up garlic butter and chili peppers in spaghetti, even on a bold night, chew on a few coffee beans or fresh mint leaves after dinner. Mistake number 10. Do you use garlic with homeopathic remedies? If you are sick and taking a homeopathic remedy, don't eat garlic. Some studies show that garlic and onions may prevent your homeopathic medicine from working properly. Because the medicine is absorbed and begins to take effect in the mouth, it is recommended that no strong tastes or smells of food, such as after eating garlic, be in your mouth before taking the medicine. More information on this topic you will find on our channel. Subscribe. Please put a like and watch these useful videos. We look forward to your comments.